Namaste, yogis. Welcome to my channel, Mindly. My name is Ryan, and today we'll be doing a 30-minute slow flow yoga practice. Um, this practice is um, going to help our legs um, while being completely relaxing. We'll also do uh, some core work towards the end. Um, not a lot, just just a tiny bit, just to make sure that we get a little bit stronger as well while we are practicing yoga, improving our flexibility, um, relaxing and coming back to the present moment at the same time. So as usual with my practice, we always begin with a seated meditation. So coming into a comfortable seat, so you could sit into Virasan like how I am seated or you could sit with your legs crossed. Uh, whichever option you take, make sure you feel comfortable as we are going to be here for a few minutes. So placing your hands on your knees or your thighs, coming to close your eyes, actively relaxing the shoulders away from the ears. As you take three deep breaths. Then tapping into the gentle rhythm of your breath as you pay attention to my voice. To live in the moment or now means being cautious, aware and in the present with all of our senses. It means not dwelling on the past nor being anxious or worrying about the future. When we concentrate our attention on the present, we focus on the task at hand. We give full attention to what we are doing and we let go of outcomes. Of course, this doesn't mean that we don't need to plan, set goals or prepare for the future. We can do all of these things and still enjoy each moment as it unfolds. And when we appreciate each moment and garner the lessons from it, we will live consciously, purposefully and responsibly. And then slowly opening your eyes And if you are seated in a cross-legged position, let's come into Virasana like me where we sit our glutes onto our heels. And then shifting the weight forward slightly, we'll tuck the toes underneath and come to sit on our heels. And then bringing attention to the little pinky toe on both sides as we spread the toes out. Coming into toe stretch. The most, one of the most ignored parts of the body sometimes does not get enough love and attention. Or we'll bring the fingertips on either side of the knees as we lift the knees off the mat, keeping the toes tucked. One more breath here. Return the knees to the mat. This time, untuck the toes. Press the palms into the mat as we lift both knees off the mat. The 
Return the knees to the mat. Walk your hands forward as we meet in all fours. Our wrists below our shoulders, our knees below our hips. Toes untucked. Few rounds of cat cow. Inhale, belly drops. Exhale, push the mat away, doming the upper back. Inhale, tailbone rises. Exhale, tailbone descends. Inhale, collarbones broaden. Exhale, chin to chest, pushing the mat away. Two more times. We meet in flat back. From here we tuck our toes and raise our hips to the sky in down dog. Palms spread wide. Sorry, fingers spread wide as the palms plug into the mat. One more breath here. And then slowly and softly walking our feet all the way up to our hands. Holding on to the opposite elbows as we dangle. And then maybe swaying from side to side if that feels good. I will meet in stillness. We place the fingertips of the right hand on the mat. Bend the right knee, straighten the left knee. Peel the left hand open towards the sky, taking our gaze with us. Bring the left fingertips down, bend the left knee, straighten the right leg as the right hand reaches for the sky. Right hand comes down as well, bringing attention to the left foot. We'll pick up the left foot, lower the left knee to the mat, untuck the toes. Once we have a balance, hand sweep up, Anjani Asana, low lunge. Draw the ribs in as the hands reach for the sky. Fingertips come down as we frame the right foot. We'll now straighten the right leg, keeping the left hip above the left knee, half monkey, Hanumanasan. And then docile flexing the toes towards your face to deepen the stretch in the hamstring and the calf. Return the right foot to the mat and from here open twist, right hand forward, left hand back as we gaze to the left hand side, fingers spread wide, palms facing to the left hand side. Coming back to center as the hands come to heart center and then twisting left elbow, right knee as we twist to the right hand side. Coming back to center 
as the hands reach up once again towards the sky. We tuck the toes on the back leg and rise up into high lunge. Hugging the left hip towards the right knee. Hands come to heart center. Leaning forward and then twisting. Left elbow, right knee. Now with the twist, right elbow can point towards the ceiling or it can be lined with the chest, tracking towards the back of the mat. Choosing the option that works best for you. Coming back to center first, rising up into high lunge. As we open up into warrior two. Hands go in opposite directions, right knee above the right ankle. Grounding down through all four corners of the left foot. And use your core to keep you lifted. Flip the palm, reverse the warrior. Right hand to the sky, left hand to the left thigh. We'll windmill our arms as we bring the hands to frame the right foot. All toes face the front. Runners lunge. Step the right foot forward to meet the left foot. Big toes touch, heels apart. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold forward. And on the inhale, rise up, reach up as the hands go towards the sky. On the exhale, we'll bring the hands to heart center as we come all the way down. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fall forward. We'll step back into a high plank. Draw the lower belly in, engage the glutes, gaze to the top of the mat. Two more breaths here. Lower both knees to the mat, untuck the toes as we come all the way down. Inhale, coming into a tall cobra. Exhale, right shoulder drops towards the mat. Inhale, back to a tall cobra. Exhale, left shoulder drops to the mat. Inhale, back to cobra. Exhale, forehead returns to the mat. From here, tucking the toes, pushing the palms into the mat, we rise up again into high plank and then to down dog. On the inhale, left leg lifts. On the exhale, placing the left foot between the hands. Drop the right knee down, untuck the toes. Anjani Asan. Low lunge. And notice the difference in the right hip compared to the left hip. We'll bring the fingertips down and straighten the left leg into Ardha Hanumanasana or half monkey. Curling the toes towards your face. Return the left foot to the mat. Hands come to heart center and coming into a twist on this side. Right elbow, left knee. Again, option available 
to lift your left elbow towards the ceiling deep in the twist or letting the left elbow be in line with the chest towards the back of the room or your mat and taking your gaze with you towards the back taking the option that works best for you one more breath here come back to center let the hands sweep up towards the sky tuck the toes as we rise up into high lunge hugging the right hip towards the left knee hands come to heart center as you come into a twist again right elbow left knee coming back to center hands reach up high lunge and then opening up into warrior 2 as the hands go in opposite directions and the left knee tracks in line with the big toe or the middle toe flip the left palm reverse the warrior as we bring both hands down coming into runner's lunge which all toes facing the front we we'll step back into high plank lowering both knees to the mat and tuck the toes as we come all the way down inhale tall cobra exhale right shoulder drops towards the mat inhale cobra again exhale left shoulder drops to the mat inhale cobra exhale forehead touches the mat pushing into the palms tucking the toes as you come up into a high plank first and then shift the weight back into down dog two more breaths here as you walk both feet towards the front of the mat we meet in a forward fold inhale half a lift exhale fold forward and then slowly coming up one vertebra at a time taking a time to get there And as you arrive at the top we pick up the shoulders and give it a one big backwards roll as the palms face the front into tadasana chin parallel to the floor grounding down through all four corners of the feet and then lifting up the knee caps gently as we engage the pelvic floor and send the energy upwards and imagine a string pulling the crown of your head towards the ceiling
few more breaths. Eyes can be closed or a soft gaze. And if your eyes are closed, gently opening them. So our balancing pose today is tree pose to hand to toe pose. Um, so grounding down onto our left foot. Hands come to heart center. Right foot comes on the inside of the left leg. <laughs> I'm falling even before I start. Vikshasana tree pose. And then from here, we'll bring the right knee into the chest. And with two fingers and our thumb, we pistol grip the big toe of the right foot. Left hand on the hip. And then let the right knee drop, so tailbone descends, so the hips are in line. And you're welcome to stay here or you can extend the right leg towards the front. The knee does not have to be straight. I can't really straighten my knee, there's still a slight bend. And we stay here for three more breaths. Bring the right foot in. Back to tree pose, hands to heart center. And then bringing the right knee again into the chest. And then returning the right foot down to the mat. Shake the left leg if you need to. Pooh. Hands to heart center, ground down on your right foot, tree pose on this side, left foot on the inside of the right leg. Bring the left knee into the chest and then peace grip the left toe, right hand on the hip, let the left hip descend. You're welcome to stay here or invitation to extend your left leg towards the front. And once again, the knee does not have to be straight. We stay here for three more breaths. And then gently bring the left foot in. Back to tree pose. Hands come to heart center. Bring the left knee into the chest and then return the left foot to the mat and shake the right leg. Coming to the top of the mat. On the inhale, hands sweep up towards the sky. On the exhale, we bring the hands to heart center as we come all the way down. We will step back into a down dog. And thinking of pigeon pose, Ardha Kapotasan, inhale, right leg goes towards the sky. On the exhale, right knee behind the right wrist. Left toes untuck. Stay upright or fall forward. Making cushion with your fists for your forehead or maybe the forehead touches just the floor today. Slowly coming back up. Tuck the toes on the left foot, lift the left knee, bring the right knee to the chest, step the right foot back. Down dog. Inhale, left leg lifts. And on the exhale, left knee behind the left wrist this time. Untuck the toes. Stay upright. Or fall forward. Taking the option that works best for you.
coming back up into half pigeon and then swinging both legs towards the front. Bend the knees as you prepare for Navasana or boat pose. So there are various ways you can do this. We bring the hands behind the knees first and then lift the shins off the mat. The feet come off. Option to stay here. The next option is to maybe take one hand out with the palm facing the ceiling. And if you feel comfortable here, you can take the right hand out as well. And then relaxing the shoulders. I will hold here for five, four, three, two, one. Bring the hands behind the knees and then gently return your feet back to the mat. And just doing some seated twists, I'll face you for this one. So legs extend long. And then crossing your right ankle over your left knee. Left hand comes around, right hand goes back on the fingertips. As if you're holding cupcakes under your right palm. Two more breaths here. Coming back to center as we extend the left leg, right leg I mean, <laughs> left leg comes across, left ankle over the right knee, right hand wraps around, left hand goes back as we twist to this side. Coming back to center, extending both legs as we lean forward, coming into a forward fold. Holding on to what's available. Knees, shins, ankles or feet. One more breath here. Letting the feet go, straightening the spine, coming to lie down, Shavasana. Final resting pose. Feet find the corners of the mat. As the hands come by your side, palms face the ceiling. And making gentle movements with your fingers and your toes as you feel life coming back to the body. And on the next inhale, rolling over to your favorite side. So you use your arm as a cushion under your ear. And with your eyes closed, coming up into a seat. Hands come to heart center against the thumbs, as the thumbs press against the sternum. One big inhale. One big exhale. 
My quote for you today is by Devashish Medha and he said, Breathe deeply, this breath is your life. Enjoy the moment, this moment is your life. Love with your heart, let your heart be the compass of your life. Bring the thumbs to the third eye center, to our lips and to our heart. From my heart to yours, Namaste. Thank you yogis and once again wherever you are in the world today, I hope you had a great day or you are about to have a great day. Um, if you like the practice, I'll be grateful if you could please drop in a like and subscribe to my channel Mindly. Until then, Namaste and I'll see you soon on the mat.